Hey everybody, um, finally got the new boat out and there's not a lot of information on this model on the internet so I thought I'd do a little walkthrough and show you uh, what's going to go on this year with the new boat. So here it is. Alright, this is the Ranger 198VX. This is a 2010 model. Um, actually it was bought in 2012 by the previous owner so uh, about seven years old. Um, as you can see, I've been using some of the 303 product already on it. Previous owner used 303 in, uh, on this boat, and you can see how nice and clean everything is. These seats look like they're brand new. Uh, this is the dash uh, on here. Uh, vinyl um, and uh, plastic all looking brand new. Uh, I did add a trim switch right over here. Uh, that helps uh, trim the motor up and down and keeping both hands at the wheel. I thought that was a, a good add. Uh, running a 1199 uh, Hummingbird CIHDs on here. Uh, that's what the previous owner had and why change things. That's working. Uh, I did add another talon. So now I finally have two talons now uh, on this thing. And uh, it's a, it's been a great uh, addition so far trying it on Braidwood. Uh, motor mate. Uh, as far as the transom saver there, um, it's a 200 Pro XS uh, Optimax on here, and uh, it's got some power. Had it about 65 today, and still was doing under 5,000 RPMs. So it still got some time uh, or some RPMs to go to get it. Probably around 65, 68, maybe, maybe 70 by myself. This was the original talent on there. It had some red pinstriping that I got to add on to that other one. But yeah, this boat is clean. Um, previous owner waxed it and polished it after every trip and uh, it's been uh, there's not a flaw on it I'm sure I'm gonna put the first nicks on this thing because I like to fish shallow and uh, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack when that happens anyway uh, back compartment right over here and uh, running an optimic Opti, uh, Optima, I'm sorry, Optima Blue Top. Uh, as far as the cranking motor is concerned, um, it's got some regular uh, Walmart brand, uh, what are these called again? Everstarts Max. I've had them on my last boat and they worked great. Remote, remote oil fill right there. I've got, uh, yeah, I, I put in a town, it's trying to clean everything up. Got my tow ropes. And uh, dock lines right back here and then we have here my back compartment I have all my plastics over here have my maps um, also have some uh, other stuff like first aid kit and uh, brush hogs there buoy markers culling system uh-huh and then on the other side I just have uh, my life jackets on here but this is gonna be empty if I have a co-angler um, I just put my life jackets in here for today. All right, moving up to the front. A lot of big deck for a little little boat here. So anyway, this is uh, the cooler right over here. Uh, got uh, my Gatorades in here. I didn't put any ice in there. Got some cookies, a bagel left over from Dunkin' Donuts this morning. And then uh, we got the side compartment here. Uh, this doesn't have any rod tubes. But um, I put three of them, I'll put my spinning rods on this side. Got my net, got uh, my rain gear in here, paddle, navigation lights, fire extinguisher. So all my spinning gear is over here. Emergency equipment over here too, so easy access if I'm up front. Uh, this is the tackle storage over here. It's pretty big. You know, I carry one day bag, uh, throwing uh beavers today have all my tackle back here got everything all labeled um 3700 series in the front then i got some 3600 series in the back over there yeah a lot of tackle storage it's a little mini bass pro shop in there i got my pliers right over here yeah a little con uh, container there to store anything i want to use during the day and then, of course, got to have a home for all my cash and rods. So there's all the cash and rods I uh, used today. Had some crankbaits on, chatterbaits, favorite rod, chatterbait rod. 
was Ned Riggin had to had that on the other side with my spinning gear. Yeah. I don't know how many rods I have in there, but I got a lot. And I could probably fit some more in if I doubled up on the rod tubes and kept them in the rod socks. So enough room for all my cashins. And then right up front here, got the talent remote. I can deploy both my talents at the same time. Got the 80 pound Fortrex right here with uh, G-Man's rope on there. It's got the balance. Uh, God, it's got to put everything on here to kind of trick it out. So that's about it. So yeah, happy to have this boat. Gonna have a great year so far. Got my first fish today, but I'm blessed to have it. So that's it. Thanks.